And uh, Steve, how's out there this morning? A cool, crisp day, beautiful day. I mean, is it time to start dusting off the sweaters a little bit? Uh, you might want to keep one handy. It's not going to get any <laughs> colder than this for a while, but what a great spell of weather we've got ahead for this week. Going to get a little warmer. Take a look at the Sarasota Bay Cam today, and you can see not a cloud in the sky, but look at the surface of the bay. You can see the waves uh, getting whipped up a little bit by those strong northerly winds that were with us and had an absolutely gorgeous sunset. Temperatures over Florida at this hour already in the 40s up in the northern part. Tampa 62, Miami 71. And across our viewing area, because of the prevailing northerly winds, temperatures aren't that much different. I think Lake Placid must be sheltered by the wind there. They've cooled up to 51. And that's what's going to happen as the winds die down tonight. Radiational cooling will set in and we'll get into the 50s to near 60 degrees just about everywhere, even downtown Sarasota, where it's currently 62. Closer look at Sarasota and Manatee County, uh, surrounded by the warmer water, a little warmer at Anna Maria 67, Mayaca City 58, and looking in the southern part of our viewing area, temperatures pretty much near 60 degrees on average. Now, uh, the northerly winds that have uh, come over are behind this cold front. It generally takes the second night after a cold front passes to get the coolest temperatures. It'll probably be cooler tonight than it was last night by a couple of degrees. As those winds uh, ease up, we're going to let that radiational cooling kick in. And over the next couple of days, the winds will stop being from the due north and start blowing a little bit across the Atlantic, bringing just a little bit more moisture, a little higher dew points, but certainly not the return of the heat and humidity like we've seen all summer long. And without the humidity, without the moisture in the air, there is no rain precipitation of any kind across Florida at this hour. And it's all a result of this little dip in the jet stream. It's a, a buckle and undulation of the jet that happens this time of year when the heating and cooling of the land and air and water becomes different as the sun gets lower, the days get uh, shorter. So this is the really the first uh, sign that the seasons are changing. And it's brought in some cool air over the northeast. It's going to settle in over Florida overnight with low temperatures in the 40s, as we just saw in Gainesville already in the 40s. And tomorrow warming up very nicely into the upper 70s to near 80. Tomorrow night, not quite as cool as we bottom off near 60 in Sarasota for tomorrow. And then Monday, warming up just a few degrees. It will be pretty close to seasonal normal, I think, as we move into the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday. Here's our RPM future cast showing the northerly winds shifting more to a northeasterly direction uh, late tomorrow night and into Monday. We have another cool front heading south that's going to come at us kind of through the back door on Wednesday, but it's not going to have strong northerly winds. It just reinforced the kind of weather we have, keeping the subtropics from surging back up and heating us up and moistening us up again. It's just going to keep things pretty much perfect the latter part of the week. So here's our weather headlines as we move into a new week. A refreshingly cool. I know that's sounds like a cigarette commercial for the 50s, but uh, to also be a nearly perfect Sunday uh, as far as the weather is concerned. And we will have a slow warming trend, but it's only going to warm up slightly to near normal by Wednesday and Thursday. A great day on the water. The winds have slackened off, so the advisories are down. The rip currents uh, advisories are down. Northeast winds tomorrow, 15 knots. Seas two to three feet, but you do watch out for that moderate chop on bay and inland waters. The beach temperature, 81. The water a little cool for me, 78 degrees. Here's my forecast for tonight. It'll be clear and crisp. Just perfect, 57 for our overnight low temperature. And the next seven days shows that slight warming bringing us up into the mid-80s by midweek. Overnight lows in the 60s, just about perfect for the Sun Coast. Adam?